Don't know one, you yes, see me? And real quick, when you already know what me do, I just want to talk with a local topic. And actually, I've got the notes written down on my phone. It's just bullets, and we're just going to briefly go over what I'm talking about. And this is about mastering your mind, part one. Because I feel like I'm going to come in with more topics when it comes to this topic. All right. Boom. First thing you see is self-awareness. All right. Self-awareness, being able to ascend in any situation. You need to be aware of what is triggering you. Right. And you need to know that your conscious mind knows what needs more focus. So boom. Let's go back to being aware of what's triggering you. If something is upsetting you, you need to be able to know what is upsetting you and try to get to the root of why you're even upset. Because right now in this life, you should not be letting nothing bother you. I'm talking to myself still. But you have to get to that the root problem. And with me saying that, should show you that it's not easy. It's easier said than done. But you need to work towards it for you to better yourself, right? Okay, you need to learn how to respond and not react. Understand? Respond. Instead of reacting like with action, you can respond in a way the person can understand you. And you don't have to speak on like you can speak stern, you can speak with authority, but speak in a way where you're responding to what is being said, not to just what you feel like you need to respond to. You know what I'm saying? Like listen to everything and then respond with something that's gonna make the solution better, you know? All right. In any situation, move different and respond differently than anyone would normally do. As you know, in the Bible, it says, if someone strike you upon the right cheek, you need to turn to the left, pretty much. That don't mean say you can let them lick you. It's more like, just get away from the situation. And just, it's, it's so hard to do good in this world where evil just is taken over. So where you will see people will react and try to argue back and fight, somebody say something about you, you just let them say it. That means they're thinking about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at it that way. You know what I'm saying? So you need to feel your fears and triggers, then let them go away naturally. Don't react to your fears and don't let your fear control you. Do not react to your fears and don't let your fear control you. It's so easier said than done, but you need to be able to stick it out in situations where you feel triggered, where you're scared, and stand in your confidence. Be who you are meant to be, which is you. Nobody can be you but yourself. Nobody can love you more than how you love yourself. So if you feel that people's being evil and whatever and not loving you or whatever, so what? Go look in the mirror and remember who you are. Remember the gifts that you have, all the gifts that you have, whatever it is, you breathe in. You're alive today. That's a gift. You know what I'm saying? So just remember that and remember that you're here for a reason. Just live it up. Do it and try to be smart when you're living it up. You know what I'm saying? Make sense of every situation, right? Okay. So once you sit with your emotions, you can then have access to different ways to better your life. So after you sit in your triggers, anything that's bothering you, after you sit in it, normally you probably react. 
But if you get to sit in it, you can think of different solutions because there's different ways you can hit different targets. You know, a target, you can hit it different ways. And if you sit in it and like think about what you want to say before you say it, think about what you want to do before you do it, so it won't be too drastic. That's that you were drastic. Don't do anything away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, just make sure you sit in it. So you can then see your way out of it. When you sit in your darkness, you can then see the light. The light is gonna be shining. Even if it's far away, just walk toward the light so you won't be lost anymore. And the light is the Bible. The light is Jesus. The light is God. I want you guys to know that. You guys need to put him first. I need to wake up in the morning, thank him for even be waking up in the morning. Anytime you have any blessings, like count your blessings. You might have something that somebody don't have, but you probably looking at somebody who have more and it's like, Count your blessings. Count that you have something. You feel me? That's how my mindset has turned. And it's been like that for a while now. And I'm so grateful for that mindset. Because without him, I wouldn't be here. You know? So, I put why. Why am I saying all of this? Why controlling your mind is so serious? So, 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 so much of a big deal. Because the answer is you. It's in you. It's been you. It's always been you. Since you came into this world, it's always been in you. But we get distracted too much of how people is and how they are on the outside of us. We need to focus on the inner us, not on the outside, not on the fashion, not on what we're wearing, not how we're looking like or whatever. Because you don't know anything. Because I will freaking take off this makeup right now. I don't know. And show y'all. Don't be your feet. So yeah, I see. Y'all know I love my nuts. Y'all don't even do my hair all the time. I will stop. Okay. The answer is you. <laughs> it takes dedication and determination to figure out your true mission in life. Because this life is full of distractions. Don't be blind for for Don't be blind, 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 blind. <laughs> Don't be blindfolded. You feel me? Don't be wearing a mask too. Like, pay attention to the distractions. But know what the distractions are so you can get away from them. You know what I'm saying? My ministry this year is pay attention you have to pay attention there's signs everywhere is is things everywhere god talks to you every and which way if you pay attention and my sister my my sister ministry for this year 2021 is obedience if you just get next to him live live through him like let him lead and guide you everything is just gonna unravel the way it's supposed to you have to have faith as big as it's mustard seed but you want to have more fear than that like you have to have faith in who your creator is and jesus as his son you have to go through jesus to even get through the father and he says this in the bible yo we're gonna have bible study again but make sure you're tuning into our last bible study yeah all right so i'm gonna finish this up with self-love by the best love it doesn't really sing. Don't say yes when you really say you no. Know. When you really want to say no, say no. You feel me? That's a part of self-love. That's major. I used to have my issues back then where people would come to me with, oh, let's go here or want to treat me certain ways. And in my heart, I really want to say no, but because I feel like I'm an empath and I feel like I'm such a sweetheart and I'm genuine, I'll be so quick to say yes when I really want to say no. And then I'm really hurting myself and I'm just giving myself to people. You have to be able to respect yourself. Self love at the best love. Don't pop up. All right. And this is the last thing I want to say. Set your boundaries with your energy and your time. You have to have boundaries set. You have to put you first. And that don't mean forget about your loved ones and your friends and all of that. It's more like you have to have so much respect for yourself that if you respect yourself 100%, and your people respect yourself, respect themselves, they're not even gonna find fault in, you know, your boundaries because they're gonna know how to respect you for who you are and expect you to be who you're supposed to be. So if you like doing this and they don't like doing that, they should understand. But you gonna you guys gonna find a common ground. You're gonna find something that's gonna be a balance for the friendship, the relationship, the family, whatever it is. You feel me? So this is all about mind control. I just wanted to jot down these notes and talk to you guys real fast about, about why controlling your mind is very important. Self-love are the best love. Don't know anything. Peace, love, joy, and happiness. Don't know. Love over hate. Faith over fear. Confidence over nonsense. And put God first. Right. I think it's the American girl. Vote. Vote. Yeah. Ooh.